Hi all, welcome to Simple Engineering, Engineering Simplified. I am Neetu Rahul. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Today we are going to discuss about the response of critically damped second order system for a unit step input. Let's move to the video. Response of critically damped second order system for a unit step input. In order to solve this, we need to know about the standard form of a closed loop transfer function for a second order system. So, it is denoted as C of S by R of S is equal to omega n square by S square plus 2 theta omega n into S plus omega n square. This is the standard form of a uh, closed loop transfer function of second order system. And here we are taking the system which is critically damped. So, critically damped means we know that for critically damped theta value will be equal to 1. Theta is equal to 1. So, here this will be equal to 1. So, our equation will become C of S by R of S is equal to omega n square by S square plus 2 omega n into S plus omega n square because theta value is equal to 1 and we are taking input as unit step input. So, R of T will be equal to 1 and R of S is equal to 1 by S. Then here this is a square plus 2ab plus uh, b square that is a square plus a square plus 2ab plus b square. You can write it as a plus b the whole square. So this equation we can rearrange it as omega n square by a is your s, s plus b is omega n, omega n the whole square. So, depending on all these conditions, we have to solve and find the response. So, response in S domain that is C of S is equal to omega n square by S sorry S plus omega n the whole square into R of S and our R of S is equal to 1 by S. So, you will get omega n square by S into s plus omega n the whole square. So, this will be the C of s that is C of s is equal to R of s is 1 by s. C of s is equal to omega n square in by s into s plus omega n the whole square. This is our C of s. So, we have to find the partial fraction for this one. So, partial fraction uh, will be equal to C of S is equal to A by S plus B by uh, here you have S so that we have written as A by S and here it is S plus omega n the whole square. So, partial fraction equations will be B by S plus omega n the whole square plus C by S plus omega n. So, we have to solve this one and we have to find A value of A will be equal to C of S into S at S is equal to here S denominator is S. So, S is equal to 0 and your B will be equal to C of S into denominator is S plus omega n the whole square at S is equal to minus omega n and C will be equal to for only this one it is different. So, C will be equal to d by ds you have to find the derivative of d by ds s plus omega n the whole square into c of s this will be the equation for finding the value of c so first we can find the value of a c of s is omega n square by s into s plus omega n the whole square into s at s is equal to 0. So, this s and this s will get cancelled. So, you will get omega n square by your s is 0. So, this will be 0. 
0 plus omega n which is omega n this will get cancelled so you will get the answer as 1 so your a will be equal to 1 next you have to find b which is c of s into s plus omega n the whole square so c of s is omega n square by s into s plus omega n the whole square into s plus omega n the whole square at s is equal to minus omega n so this one and this one will get cancelled so you will get omega n square by s into omega n square by s because s plus omega in the whole square and this term both will get cancelled so you will get s and our s is equal to minus omega n so you will get omega n square by minus omega n so this omega n and here one omega n will get cancelled so you will get minus omega n as b so your b will be equal to minus omega n next we have to find c so c will be equal to d by ds that is derivative with respect to s s plus omega n the whole square into our c of s is omega n square by s into s plus omega n the whole square so in this also you will get s plus omega n a whole square and s plus omega n the whole square will get cancelled so you will get d by ds omega n square by s and the condition is s is equal to minus omega n so you have to find the derivative so this will be equal to minus omega n square by s square at s is equal to minus omega n that is derivative of omega n square by s with respect to s will be equal to minus omega n square by s square then this s you have to substitute it as minus omega n so you will get c is equal to minus omega n square by s square that is minus omega n the whole square so it will be equal to omega n square and omega n square will get cancelled so you will be minus omega n square will be become omega n square negative and negative it will become positive so you will get minus 1 so c will be equal to minus 1 so you have a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus omega n and c is equal to 1 minus 1 so a value is 1 b is equal to minus omega n and c is equal to minus 1 so this is the values for after finding the uh, values for the uh, from the partial fraction so our c of s will be equal to a by s that is 1 by s plus b by s plus omega n the whole square so b is minus omega n so minus omega n by s plus omega n the whole square minus c is minus 1 so minus 1 by s plus omega n so this is the c of s now then we have to find the response in time domain so response in time domain response in time domain means c of t which will be equal to 1 by s is 1 minus omega n into 1 by s plus omega n the whole square is t e power minus omega n t minus 1 by s plus omega n means e power minus omega n t so from this c of t is equal to 1 minus e power minus omega n t is common so you, that you can take outside e power minus omega n t into here you have omega n t and here this term is taken outside so minus e power omega n t is taken outside so you will get 1 plus omega n t 
so this will be the response c of t is equal to 1 minus e power minus omega n t into 1 plus omega n t so this will be the response in time domain and if you draw graph you will get uh, that is here uh, we can represent r of t t here input this is r of t and we have taken unit step input so 0 and this will be 1 then c of t you have to re uh, represent so this is t this is your response output response so this will be c of t and what we have got 1 minus e power minus omega n t into 1 plus omega n t so your response will be like this and this value this will be equal to 1 so this will be the response of critically damped the case or the system which we have taken is critically damped second order system for a unit step input so hope this is clear for everyone if you find this useful please please share it with others thank you